All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah HaKadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well <clears throat> and labor in 100% doctrine according to this Bible. Right? And Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth around the four winds of the earth, starting with 144,000 and the rest of the one third and great number of multitude. They uh, sincerely believe on the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, I'm the brother, how I'm my young from the great middle star of Columbia, Georgia camp. And now, brother Zai, <clears throat> this be an edifying lesson. <clears throat> okay. Um, I will not be using this video for monetary gain. Once again, the Fair Use Act, um, I will not be using this video for monetary gain, only for educational purposes only. Only for educational purposes only. So, hey, Howard Rock is out of the foundation. And uh, bring some precepts out to close out. In the year 2024, Neuralink will begin implanting their microcomputers into human brains for the first time. There is no longer speculation. This is reality. So there's no better time to get yourself familiar with the rapidly evolving field of brain-computer interface and how Elon Musk's Neuralink is about to change the game. The future is now, and you'd better be ready. A major update in the Neuralink story is, of course, the approval for human trials that the company received in the first half of 2023, and we now have a better idea of what that will look like. The company announced in September 2023 that they have started recruiting for the first human test subjects for the N1 brain-computer interface and R1 surgical robot that will be used to implant it. The PRIME study, short for Precise Robotically Implanted Brain-Computer Interface, aims above all to determine the safety of both the BCI and the robot for human application. It will also assess the initial functionality of the BCI in enabling people with paralysis to control external devices with their thoughts. For the purpose of the trial, an ideal candidate would be an adult under the age of 40 who is experiencing paralysis in all four limbs. This patient would have their Neuralink implanted over what's known as the hand knob area of their premotor cortex, which controls the hands, wrists, and forearms. In 2021, Neuralink performed a total of- I wanna pause it right there, right? The brain got a precept because <clears throat> what's going to come to pass is, is this is prophesied to happen but this is revelation chapter 3 and verse 10 it says because thou has kept the word of my patience i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth and what is that hour of temptation man? now let's go to <clears throat> And notice it says to come upon all the world, right? So this is going to be a global event, right? It's going to happen. It's Revelation chapter 13, because Esau, Edom, and before I grab Revelation 13, I'm coming right back to it, and just bear with me. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. In the NLT, it says, so that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes. That's why we're supposed to put on the whole armor of the Most High, so you'll be able to withstand in that evil day, man. All the wiles of the devil, his trickeries and things like that, because Satan um, only means Shatan. <clears throat> Shatan is the Hebrew word for Satan, which means the adversary of the Most High. He's adverse to you. How about Shandal Shah? So the physical counterpart of Satan is Esau Edom, Adawam, right? <clears throat> which means red. Uh, Esau, Ishashua, wasted away his heat. The scriptures say the wicked plot against the just, right? These devices are AI, artificial intelligence, fourth industrial revolution, you know, which is artificial wisdom. This is going to be um, mandatory. Right, and that's what made me speak on Revelation chapter three 
about uh, the hour of temptation, but to get a little deeper into it, right? This is Revelation chapter 13. And I'm going to start at verse 16. It says that he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. This is talking about people, right? <clears throat> to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now let's go into this word mark. I'm coming right back to that video. <clears throat> do our things for edification's sake, right? It's somebody out there that don't um, 100% know this, you know? So the Greek word for mark... <clears throat> Strong's G, 5480, Charagma. Charagma. Charagma, right? Karagma, Charagma, a stamp and a printed mark of the mark stamp on the forehead or the right hand <clears throat> as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. <clears throat> the mark branded upon horses, theme, car, sculpture, grave, work. The point is, this Karagma, they're going to use in a, in a, in a, in a, they're gonna, uh, use a palisade you know, that palisade to uh, stick it in you, you know, that device, that particular device has to be backed up by something to push it, to insert in you, that palisade. Uh, let's see real quick. Yep, there you go. Karax. Strong's G, 5482. Karax. Karax. And it says a pale a stake or palisade a palisade or rampart pales between <clears throat> which earth's but, but the point is it's a, it, they're going to use this to to uh push it in um into humans man it's going to be mandated it's going to be mandatory okay so now that we um went into revelation 13 let's continue playing this video of 155 surgeries on sheep, pigs, and monkeys, and in 2022, that number grew to 294 total surgeries. In a typical FDA human trial, the medical company would be limited to just one human experiment in the first year, with a long cooldown period to assess the results. But in the case of Neuralink, thanks to their existing track record with animal testing and the massive outpouring of interest from prospective human patients, the company has already received a green light for multiple human surgeries in 2024. The plan right now is for Neuralink to perform 11 human implants in 2024. That will increase to another 27 implants in 2025 and 79 in 2026. If all goes well, after this point, operations at Neuralink will truly begin to ramp up. The company anticipates 499 surgeries in 2027, and then exponential growth into 2030 when they are performing 22,204 surgeries in that year. Yes, one. Now, it's all on Yahweh Shema Shah. This is his will. This is movie, right? But this is going to be uh, mandated, man. This is going to happen because they're going to use these, uh, that RFID, the NF NFC, Near Field Communication. RFID radio frequency identification to uh, as a medical miracle, you know, and a lot of people ain't grounded and rooted in Yahweh Hashem Awasha in the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Awasha, cleaving on to Yahweh Hashem Awasha. Why? Because they're gonna be deceived in that day, you know, because it's consequences for uh, <clears throat> taking that device, man. It is consequences, and the consequences are not what you think, man. We're commanded not to do this, man. But guess what? The hopeful elect will not uh, be deceived. They won't partake into it. They won't take it. The Lord is going to put the spirit on his remnant not to take it. We're going to resist it, man. That's why it is going to be martyrs, man. There's going to be some martyrs, you know, some, some that, uh, matter of fact, let me bring it out. Bear with me. Bear with me real quick. Once again, I brought this out. You can hear me clear. I'm in my truck. And uh, 
just wanted to do a show, man. I saw this before I went to sleep last night. And uh, I mean, while I woke up out of my sleep, and I said, I'm going to do a lesson on the Abu But this is Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, right? And for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads. Because guess what? You got to remember, like, the time at, um, in the Maccabees with Antiochus Epiphanes, you know, he wanted, he, he made Jake, it was a lot of wicked Jakes that consented, you know? They consented. And you don't want to consent, man. You know, that's why that when that great insurrection come upon and, and, and the spirit and probably how, when y'all by Shema was shot, visit the world which you made, and he bring his anger and these plays and his evil bad times, it's going to see, we're going to see. Like it says in second edge of 16, then shall it be known who are my chosen. Who going to stand up for the Lord then, man, when you're back against the wall, you know? That's why the hopeful elect going to walk by faith and not by sight, you know? Whatever your lot may be, if you're part of the remnant, the Lord is going to give you a spirit to endure. And I'm humbly saying that, but 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 through the spirit, I believe that boldly, man. You know? That's why it's high time to wake up out of sleep. We got to do all we can. First and foremost, speaking of myself, edifying and admonishing myself, man. Stay in this fight, man. Pray. Do what you have to do fast. Cleave unto the Lord, man, because this time is going to come. <clears throat> so I can be a long winded about that. Let me read the scripture again. Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw the thrones and they sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years, man. Because um, the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. You know, <clears throat> we go back into it. 22,000, that was not a typo. With human subjects, the surgical prep and craniectomy are expected to take a couple of hours performed by neurosurgeons, followed by about 25 minutes for the actual implantation via the R1 robot. The company estimates that each implant surgery will cost them about $10,500 for exams, parts, and labor, and the amount they charge insurers will be about $40,000. Neuralink forecasts annual revenue as high as $100 million within five years. The Prime study is expected to take Neuralink six years to complete and verify their findings. The company is recruiting specifically for patients who have quadriplegia due to spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, more commonly known as ALS. The primary phase will take 18 months once the device has been implanted, and the patient will check in every two months with a medical team to ensure the device is working as intended. The bulk of the research will happen in one-hour sessions twice a week with the Neuralink BCI team, where they will monitor and collect as much data as possible. Once the primary phase is over, the long-term follow-up phase will commence with four clinical visits annually for the next five years. So all this looks promising, but with such experimental technology at play, things remain uncertain until they are completed. And while there is a lot we can learn from our primate cousins, the human body and brain still has its own unique attributes. And while the US FDA has approved the trials, you can be certain they are keeping- The US, hey, the FDA Food Drug Administration have approved it. But this is my thing, man. The scriptures say, never trust thy enemy, right? Now I'm headed to, uh, I'm on a job, so I can't play the whole video, but let me, um, <coughs> this, the, uh, the, the article is called the 2024 Neuralink update is here, right? If you want to check it out, you know, if you come across this lesson, but, um, I'm going to end the lesson off with two precepts. Um, bear with me. Revelation chapter 14 
in verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand, the same. So if you take this MOTB, the MOTB, the mark of the BEAST, which is the seal, man, RFID, right? It says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his his indignation, which means righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that's your consequence, man, because it's gonna give you leave you a grievous sore, as the scriptures say, man. You don't you don't do that, man. We wait on Yahweh by Shemao Shah as he's commanded us to do. Wait ye upon me. We have to wait, man. You know, the Lord ain't give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. All right, so Abba Rabbi Zai, this was an edifying lesson. Once again, you want to check it out. It's called the 2024 Neuralink Update. It's here. And a, our uh, elder apostle, Tahar, just uh, deemed this year 2024, hopeful a year of, of Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's trouble is Jacob, man. Our forefather. <coughs> so like, he had 12 sons, 12 patriarchs, man. And guess what? Lord willing, it come to pass, man. Because it's high time to wake up out of sleep. To get your S-H-I-T together. If it resonates with your spirit. Because two parts therein will be cut off and die. That's prophesied to happen. But this is a prophecy too, man. This on um, M-O-T-B. Revelation 13, 16. He that have he that have an ear, let him hear. You know, let him understand. So I done made it to my um <clears throat> location on this plantation. Lord willing, this was edifying through the spirit of power. Y'all about Shemar Shai. I pray and hope this lesson was edifying. I would like to close out by giving all glory and honor. Infinite praise unto our power. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. For HaKadash. And double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone and teaching. We will. Peace, love, salutations to the elect. Hopefully, make Shalom.